Hello guys, it's Chelsea and today is gonna be an exciting day. Main agenda for the day, I am going to the salon. Super red ba nito? Gusto ko talaga nag-lip tint kasi parang nakaka-fresh siya. Anyway, medyo mag-aayos ako. I'm gonna do my makeup a little bit. Kasi gusto ko talaga parang... Okay. Ako ay mag-aayos ng kaunti. Actually, nung birthday ko dapat ako magpapa-haircut at saka yung um, bago sa hair ko. Kasi naisip ko parang... Pinapressure ko lang ba yung sarili ko na magkaroon ng new me kasi birthday ko. So, pinalipas ko. So, ngayon naman, sure na ako na magpapasalon ako. Pero hindi pa rin ako sure sa part na um, babawasan ko yung hair ko. Kasi yung gusto ko talaga is collarbone length. Kaso nagdadalawang isip ako. Kasi sayang naman yung tubo ng hair ko. Ang ingay, no? realize ko, magtatagal din naman ako doon. So, baka mahulas na ito. Tapos, nakamas din. So, parang, itong pag-ayos ko, this is for the vlog. So, yun. Sana na-appreciate nyo. Char. By the way, magpapagawa ako sa Hector's salon. Nakita ko siya sa FYP ko sa TikTok. Tapos, binisit ko sila sa Instagram. Here's what my hair looks like. Um, naturally, ito yung itsura niya pag natuyo. Kung naalala nyo, nagpa-short hair ako. And nung nagpa-short hair ako, meron akong highlights Tsaka brown yung hair ko nun. Pinatukan ko siya ng dark brown, DIY. Feel ko yung dito part is my natural black hair already. Tapos, dito naman, medyo halata yung um, brown. Let's go and color our hair. Let me tell you, it's been a while since I last involved bleach sa hair ko. The last thing that I did was rebond and I think that was 9 or 10 months ago. Pero galing ako sa color and highlights a few months before ako magpa-rebond. Okay. Okay. The reason why nagpa-rebond ako is because I'm not really the type to um, put that much effort into my hair. Parang Gusto ko nang bumalik sa, alam mo yung tipong virgin hair. Pagkagising ko, ah, ang ganda ng hair ko. Naturally straight and silky. Yun, kaya ako nagpa-rebond. Pero this time around, I really wanna change my look. By the way, what they're doing with my hair is color and highlights. I wasn't ready yet to commit to a full bleach hair. Kaya, we're doing highlights. Once again, I feel like highlights are my go-to. But this time, um, pinadark ko na lang yung base ko. Pinamaintain ko siya. Kasi before, pag nagpapa-color ako and highlights, it's super light, parang light brown or ash blonde. So this time, I want a dark base. Kasi tamad talaga ako. So gusto ko yung tipong, hindi ako lagi magpapa-retouch. So dark base is the way to go. The day after, I actually went back to the salon because when I woke up um, the next day, I was able to observe my hair under natural lighting. And I liked yung itsura niya sa likod, pero dun lang sa front part, yung parang sa pinakaunahan ng hair ko, it was too light for my liking. So, nag-message ako if okay lang ba bumalik ako and sabi nila okay lang. And ayun, dinarkin nila yung sa front part ng hair ko and they also decided to lighten yung highlights ko and I super love yung outcome niya. Their salon was really packed so I'm really grateful na they were able to accommodate me and after that I just went on a me time session. I'll be eating here. I just want to say that I was really happy this day because feeling ko I went on a full self-care date and I mean going to the salon it's not something that I always do and now that I look good 
it feels really good that I did this. You see that? I went on a restaurant. I ate alone. It may not be a big deal to somebody else. Kasi baka sanay na kayo. Pero I don't do that. And it feels really good that I did that by myself. And I really want to do it often. And actually, the day didn't stop there. Kasi nag-gym pa ako. And this is me continuing with my um, routine. And ayun, it feels really good to take these extra steps to nourishing my soul. And showing myself some love. So... So it's been a few days after and here's what my hair looks like. I super love um, how it turned out because it looks really similar to what I asked for. Um, it's a very subtle change, but it's noticeable. Naman siya. Gusto ko kasi is a dark base para it's not super high maintenance. Kapag nag-grow yung roots ko, natural pa rin yung vibe. Wait, ayan. Masalata yung hair ko dito. Yan yung mga highlights. Honestly, super tagal ko na talaga gusto mag light hair. As in yung parang full um, blonde. Kaso, I know that if I wanted it super light, it will require a lot of bleaching. Tapos matagal. Parang babad na babad talaga. And I feel like I, I'm not really ready for that. Kaya ever since parang nag-highlights lang talaga ako. But of course, even if I didn't go for the full bleach hair. Itong buho ko, syempre na bleach pa rin siya. Kahit naman inipis lang siya, it's all over my hair. As in, full highlight siya. And the thing with bleach kasi is that it doesn't just make your hair dry. It causes your hair strands to break and parang nagiging vulnerable yung buhok mo. Parang nawawala or nababawasan yung strength niya. Actually, it wasn't bleach just once. Dalawang beses siya binabad kasi ina-achieve nila yung lighter since kailangan nga parang kitang-kita siya kasi yung base ko is dark. So, these are the photos na pinakita ko sa hairdresser ko. Sabi ko, ito yung gusto ko. And na-achieve naman siya. Kita niyo naman, it's a dark base with ash gray highlights. Pero ayun nga, bumalik ako kasi mas gusto ko pala if medyo blonde yung itsura niya like this. So, yan. That's it. And tingnan niyo, sinave ko to July pa. And I don't really do anything to my hair. I don't style it. I don't curl it. Ako yung tipo na parang pag natuyo na to, okay na to. Pero, of course, I wanna make sure na pag natuyo siya, maganda yung itsura niya. Dati nga nung college, kasi dun talaga ako mahilig magpakulay. Yung itsura ng buhok ko nun, alam mo yung tipo ang naligo ka, tapos natuyo yung hair mo. Pero yung itsura mo, parang hindi ka naligo kasi ang buhaghag sa sobrang dry. Parang, Ganun na yung hair and ayun, ayoko na, ayoko na talaga mangyari yun. Siyempre kung gusto ko ng ganun, I have to take extra care sa hair ko which is why I added new products to my bath routine, my hair care routine and these are products from Cream Silk. This is from the Cream Silk Salon Expert Daily Treatment Series and I have the two variants here with me. So the first one is the Keratin Rebon Straight. Tapos ito naman yung ginagamit ko na variant. This is Keratin Damage Repair. From the name itself, it repairs what's, what's been damaged. I super love yung ingredients nito kasi it doesn't only have keratin but it also has collagen dual serum. This is what I prefer to use kasi with the ingredients, um, yun nga, first yung keratin, this will help restore yung strength ng hair strands ko na apektuhan ng coloring process, ng bleaching process. And of course, with collagen also, this will help trap in yung nutrients para malock in talaga yung moisture. By the way, sobrang bango talaga nito. Tapos yung um, texture or yung formula niya, ang sarap niya i-ano, i-haplos sa hair. This is what I prefer to use, pero um, we also have here the Keratin Rebond Straight. This one is infused with keratin and the Amino Infusion Dual Serum. And it helps restore and boost yung straightness ng hair mo. And it will also give you a nice um, healthy shine sa hair. If you don't really establish a proper after keratin, eventually yung hair natin mas magiging dry. Yung itsura niya mas magiging frizzy. Tapos yung texture niya parang pag ginawakan mo, especially yung mga parts na, yung parts na na-bleach. Kapag ginawakan mo siya parang ang brittle ng feeling niya. And I don't really like that to happen to my hair. So yeah, this is your reminder to take extra care of your hair. If you guys wanna try this out, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. I love yung consistency niya or yung thickness niya. It's not like your usual conditioner. This one parang ang sarap niya talagang ihaplos sa hair mo kasi ang kapal niya. Doesn't have 
have to be this way I don't have to wash away the pain with like a girl If you guys don't wanna splurge on a whole tub yet, you can get it ng sachet. Meron akong mga sachet, nilalagay ko siya sa gym bag ko. By the way, ito, this is less than 350, pero it's already 650 ml. Sobrang sulit. It's also very accessible. You can get it sa department store, sa Watsons. Um, even online, you can even score some deals. So if you guys wanna test it out, um, if you wanna give a little more love to your hair, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. So. It's been a few days after and today I decided that it is going to be my rest day so we're gonna take things slow and the first thing that I did was I washed my hair and I'm just applying my treatment this is once again from cream silk it's the keratin damage repair and like I said I only wash my hair every other day so this is one of those days and usually talaga, if I'm just staying at home medyo matipid talaga ako. Um, I apply lang ako ng shampoo because no one's really gonna see me. That's what I do before because feeling ko I can get away with it. Parang hindi naman gaano halata sa hair ko. Pero now na nagpa highlight sa ko ayun nga nagpa bleach and nagpa color. I notice yung difference kapag shampoo lang. Parang yung yung hair ko mukha siyang buhaghag. Kahit na nagsuklay na ako parang anlaki niya. And yung mga nasa front ng hair ko yung sa my scalp area. Pansin ko parang nagtututchang sila. Nakataas yung mga naka bleach yung mga highlights. So I'm really making it um, a routine na after I shampoo, since every other day lang naman ako nagbabasa ng hair, susundan ko na siya ng treatment, the one from Cream Silk. And now that I'm recording this voiceover, I've been using it for more than two weeks now. I noticed na the longer you use it, kahit na medyo matagalan bago mo basain ulit yung hair mo, it feels really soft and silky and I'm really just happy that I'm being consistent sa routine ko na to. Ito yung itsura niya kapag shampoo lang. And here's what it looks like when I do the treatment from Cream Silk and ayun, I'm really happy um, kasi it feels really smooth, honestly. And ang bango pa ng buhok ko. But anyway, for the rest of the day, if may mga ganito ko, if I wanna take a break kasi parang sensory overload, I do random things. Minsan, naglilinis ako sa kwarto. If magulo yung kwarto ko, nag-organize ako sa office. I tried to read maybe 10 pages of a book na I haven't finished yet and nagba brain dump ako sa journal. These are things that I do to find calmness. Lately I've been lighting a candle um kapag gabi kasi parang nasa set niya yung vibe sa kwarto para maganda rin yung tulog ko. But yeah, that's how my days look like and that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.